Hey guys, Marsh from the Trump here, back with another video, and today we are doing a team all around beta, or if you say it differently, beta. So let's get right into it. This team's quite interesting. I've tried to make it very unique because it's very easy to fall into the same like four archetypal teams, and I want these teams that I'm making for these videos to focus around your guys' favorite characters. If there's a character you want me to do a video on next, let me know. I'm hoping to do a video for everyone, but that might not happen. So to make sure your guys' as favorite characters get a team made around them, let me know in the comments and they'll take top priority. So let's look at this team. If we look at Beta here, she has Fission and Fusion, which is a long shot, and Omega Assault, which is a three player pretty strong shot. Now it's very important to note that her element here on her shots is this uh, purple element. And what that does is, uh, basically it's, it's no element so it has no elemental advantage or disadvantage as far as I'm aware, which is really cool. Now, let's look at her passives as this is the thing we're going to be building the rest of the players around pretty much. It's sort of hard because she's very generic. This is her strength. She can be put into any team and do well. She, bo she boosts her own focus value in the opposition's half. So that's why we have her in this central midfield upper position, uh, slightly more aggressive. It means she's going to be in the opponent's half more and she's not one of the forwards, so she can use her long shot too. Also, she doesn't really have anything boost in the forwards, whereas the forwards usually boost each other. So I've dropped her back into this midfield position. She can use her long shot really well. Uh, when in zone, you can just do a pass back, and she'll always be a, a, a passable target uh, to get them shots in. But she has that focus value boost, as she is still one of the attacking players. Her scramble value is plus three for different position players, which is really good. Team's breach rate is increased by 2%, nice flat boost. It's nothing crazy, but it's nice. And then when team wins, focus or scramble, tension gain is a 10% extra. So this is what we're sort of building it around. We're building it around the uh, winning scramble and focus battles, and then getting that extra tension. But because we're building it around her, we're not going to build it around extra tension gain, rather we're going to build it around focus battle and scramble battle uh, percents to win them easier, along with some niche little things here and there. So a great player to go alongside her is Jude Sharp. When same element player is nearby, his scramble value goes up by 8% and he boosts the scramble value uh, by 3% for same element players. So he boosts her by 3, boosts himself by 8, and boosts Zell by 3. Now you could also use Nathan as one of your defenders to boost him too, so that's really nice. Um, and also, when team scattered bomb power increases by 4%, that's okay, whatever, until team receives a foul, castle wall defense plus 15%. That's nice uh, until you receive a foul, obviously, so it's not the best, but what is important is the boosting of beta in her scramble uh, value battles, uh, scramble battle values, and the fact that he just gives some nice boosts all around. Now, I don't want to go too in-depth in everyone else because this isn't about them, it's about her and her team, but we'll go over the basics of everyone else in this team. So, we'll carry on with the midfield. Sonny, right? Also, ignore the bench. I don't do the bench for these because the bench is very interchangeable. So, Sonny, right? Scramble value, plus 8% when outside of zone, plus 3% for same position to so the beater and Jude. And bomb power is at 20%, team scramble value is boosted by 20% again. Now there's not too much going on with bomb power, but there are a few here and there, and you might naturally build it up to 20, so that's just like a, an added bonus, not something you're focusing on. Obviously, if we were to build a team around Sony, then we would. Uh, then let's go to the forwards, we've got Wits. When a different element player is nearby, his uh, shot power goes up by 8%, so we've surrounded him in three players that aren't the same element. Focus value plus 3% for different position players, so that's these getting boosted again. And even in trailing in goals, breach rate plus 2%, and when breach bonus is at least 15%, boost the team's castle wall pierce by 13%, which is nice. Now, we're not building a team around breach necessarily, we have things boosting the breach, but this isn't a breach team, it's a focus and scramble team. So, why do we have these breach bonuses? Essentially, we're not going for the breach, we're just going to trigger this castle wall pierce rate. Which is why we also have Torch. Torch is one of the best forwards to have in a modelled team like this. It gets boosted by 8% when with different players, which again, 
wood and two airs near a fire, but surrounding a fire. Um, and tension required for team's breach is lowered, and team's breach rate plus 3%. That's another another tension boost. Uh, and then, finally, we have Zal. When same element player is nearby, boosts his shot by 8%. Focus value plus 3% for different position players, and we lower our foul rate. So, because he's near B10 Ju, he'll be increasing his shot. So, they all increase each other. Well, they sort of increase themselves because of each other, which is a weird way. And they all boost things like focus value, which is what we're building around. Then for defenders, we have Bomber, who boosts focus value and scramble value for different players. When breaches at 15%, gets that uh, castle wall pierce rate and gets a 3% breach increase, which is nice. So we're getting that uh, castle pierce, it's all we're going for there. Gokka boosts focus value, great. Scramble value for different element players, great. And does some team foul rate, which is nice to have. Um, I will build a foul rate team at some point, but I do like these bonuses nonetheless. Scotty boosts fo focus value for different position. Uh, when different element player, his wall is better, and he has some counter boosts. Jack boosts his castle for different elements. He's not near anyone except for Mark. Castle wall defense plus three for nearby players. Great. And then finally, Mark. Uh, the main thing we're looking for here, the castle wall stuff's nice, but scramble value plus three percent for different position players. And finally coach, Hellman, uh, team's focus value plus 5% in opposition to half. That's the main thing we're going for. Plus all the attack boosts to make Beta here super super strong. So let's take this team into a match. Uh, I believe this is the team. Well, let me just check real quick. Yes it is. Okay, we'll, tr we'll try Godhood Alias. Mm, is Godhood Alias a little... That might be a little hopeful with this team's levels. We'll try it. We're merely showcasing the team. Their levels are terrible, but whatever. Here we go. If we win, it just shows how much better the team really is. Also, we've got her in her uh, iconic kit, Protocol Omega, which is the team she's from, Protocol Omega 2.0. We'll try not to use tactics. And here we go, because of her position, she actually gets that nice kickoff start. There we go, that's a nice shot right off the bat. 391, not bad, that's a third of the keeper. Let's get Sonny in here. Ooh, he murked me there. Cannot fib. Put that massive wall, there you go. All them wall buffs and just Jack being huge. Really came in clutch there. Nice, he's got past that defender or not. And now he has. We'll go for a shot right here. Atomic Flare. We have elemental advantage right here, which is quite nice. It's still not very good. He's level 10 though, to be fair. They're three times his level. Let's try shooting over to Zell. Let's see what Zell's got. Karma's out of position. That's not where I wanted to shoot. I'm not sure what the camera was doing there. Let's see this. Not bad. It's quite bad, but whatever. We're getting the keeper down. We're under leveled, so it's to be expected. We got him this time. Ooh. Alright, let's pull one of our defenders up there. Perfect, perfect. Predicted that one well. Let's uh, mix it around. Zohan's on me, so we'll get it to Zell. Weak shot because the play levels are super low, but that's another nice hit. Keeper's looking pretty dicey right now, which is perfect. Awesome. Our uh, lowered foul rate may have helped us there. You know what, let's just have a crack with Sonny. He's pretty high. That's pretty damn high, oh my god. There we go. And there we go, there's our goal.
Big up, Sonny. Love Ares. Alright, and now you can see Beaters back here for a defensive kickoff. Oh, nice, nice, okay. I didn't expect that to go through like that. Let's take up the captain. Now, I'm really cautious of the fact that Clear knows the tower, which is a very good defensive move. That's why we're firing this off to the side to Zell, which is actually really cool. Complete accident, but it used the three players up front that aren't Zell to do that move. Which, I don't know, I like when things come together like that. Now, I did not know Koma had spinning cut. Okay. The more you know. Also, spinning cut's not quite as strong as the tower, so that's still a good uh, choice, I guess, in the end. Not ideal, but better than what it could have been. Ooh, lucky that little hand still sticking out saved me, though. Now, that, I thought that was offside, but we're lucky. I think I managed to pass before he was. <laughs> Doesn't matter that the level 10s were just... We're just winning all these focus battles. In fact, that's probably why we're winning those things that I, I'm sort of surprised by. Because we puffed our focus battle win rate, or percent, by that much. So yeah, this whole time I'm like, oh, I'm not, I'm not showcasing it. We're just pelting the keeper with a bunch of weak shots. Well, I think you'll find we're doing it perfectly. And this is something too. People aren't going to really expect a team built around focus battles and scramble battles because it's not one of the archetypal teams. It's either breach teams, counter teams, that sort of thing, bond power team, that sort of thing. The main ones. And I guess my team, Drain Team, is sort of in there. But let's be real, we only ever see breach, right? Focus and scramble, I don't think people are even considering being a thing. So, this is quite nice. This is a good team. As you can see, we're having level 10s barely catch the uh, opposition and then not breaking through. So that's very, very, very cool. Also, we've not received a foul yet because we're winning our battles cleanly, which means the when not foul things trigger, like Jude's Castle Wall Boost, we're not, we're not getting fouls because we're playing clean. And they've just upped their foul rate, which is nice. Alright, let's... Oop. Damn it, I knew that was going to be a foul. I uh, eat my words. I was hoping to get her up there to use... Actually, I didn't even need to sprint then, did I? I was hoping to use her uh, long shot. There we go. Like, that would have probably been a breakthrough. That felt like I shouldn't have won that. But our buffs definitely will have been the deciding factor there. Okay, that one was fair. I went to Gunko. Perfect, perfect. Get a bit of drain there. Nice. Okay. Now if I can win this, this is great. Ooh. Nice. Alright, let's pass back to our captain, the focal point of this video. Probably one of your guys' favourite characters, and we actually have enough for her big move again. It's overkill here, but it's cool to use a move, right? <laughs> we still have quite a bit of tension after that. Now he's using Rotary Sander, so we might have needed that move right there. I reckon we did. Very nice. <laughs> okay, we'll try to get a long shot off as well this match. I feel this is the best position for your long shot characters. And I would have used Sean Frost in this team, but I don't like to overload on long shots. I feel it's sort of cheap. Yep, we have enough. And Zell might be able to chain this, to be fair. Come on, Zell. 
Nah, Zal ain't, ain't got it, he ain't got it. Clear not using the tower, okay. Well, here we go. Pretty nice bit of damage. From more or less the halfway line, 300 out of 1200, that's very nice. See, I should not be winning these battles. It's 100% those buffs saving my ass here, which is great. If you struggle with them, build your team like this. Okay, Ganymede Ray. Ah, we don't have enough tension. I was hoping to do Ganymede Ray into Ganymede Ray. But we got our two main men from Neo National. Obviously, one's from Genesis, one's from Epson originally. But they're also both from Neo National. Ah, you got a save there. Too bad. Okay, so they're using a move to get out of this uh, rut here. That's okay. <laughs> Marked his pass target and then rushed him in the last second. Oof. Can I get it through there? Oh, I can. That was a very tight gap. Perfect. And obviously, if your guys' as players are actually leveled up, if you're ro rocking a team like this or this team, um, then you'll be scoring so many goals. These shots won't be a quarter, they'll be like half, if not the full bar of that keeper. So, I don't know, this team seems pretty sick. The uh, concept is very much working. Also, we've got like no equips on any of these. Ooh, that wasn't nice. Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, Gokka. How did? Why did Gokka run away? <laughs> this is fine. We got Mark. Ooh. We might not be fine. We are not fine. I think they scored this. Yeah, not enough tension. That sucks. But, whatever. Our players are two, three times lower the level of them. And the game should have ended there. So, that should, we've gone past full time. So, you know, very healthy team. Very, very healthy, good team. I highly recommend it. And as always, like I said earlier, if you have any plays you want to see me do in the next video, let me know. Um, also, some, some tactics you can use. I think bond protocol to lower your um, tension depletion and up your tension gain. That could be nice. But look at that. We had 15 shots and 18 focus battle wins. Come on. You can't tell me that's not amazing. That's really, really impressive. I don't think I even get that with my main team. Um... So yeah, obviously my main team isn't focused around that, no pun intended, but this team is, and it just shows how good it is. So that's great. Also, I'd like to mention, if you change Scotty out, you've got a, a large bodied back four, which means th the build actually does interfere with like hitbox and things. So they're more likely to intercept passes, which is really nice. So uh, that's just a little ad added bonus right there. You could drop uh, Nathan in right here, uh, to get the boost from Jude for same elements and stuff. And um, I think he has some focus or scramble buff buffs too. Uh, different element uh, castle wall buffs. Focus value for same position play. So that's why we use Scotty. We, we wanted to boost beta. But if you just want the team, you can put in um, Nathan. Or what you could even do is have Nathan when you get foul. Uh, when his foul thing runs out. Sub him off for Scotty. Slightly larger character build. So bigger hitbox getting the buffs from others, and he does have spinning cut, which is a shot block. Um, yeah, Whirl and Force and the Wall are shot blocks. Asteroid Belts are very good shot blocks, so you can like sw swap these around, but you got to mess around so the right elements are near the right elements, because some like to be near the same, some like to be away from the same, but whatever. You do you. You guys can figure it out. If you don't, if you don't care to figure it out, then just rock what I've got right here. Level them up. Uh, rarity them 
Oh, that doesn't even make sense. Up their rarity and uh, have fun. That's the most important part. I hope you like this team. I'll see you in the next one.